Hi everyone! Hello everyone! What the hell is that? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and if you're new here, I make makeup videos. I'm half done today. I've not done the eyes because I'm going to be doing an eye tutorial using the Blood Sugar palette from Jeffree Star. I'm really late to the game with this palette, but my lovely boyfriend who wanted a shout out in this video bought me this palette. So I'm going to be using this palette to create a look on my eyes. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a nice bright look I think. There is some wearable shades in it but I th I'm really intrigued by the... what is my hand doing? But I'm really intrigued by these really bright coloured ones. If you're interested keep watching. If you really like this video it would mean so much if you could give it a thumbs up, give it a little comment and tell me if you liked it and if you aren't already subscribe below as well for me so you can see when I have new videos. First impressions looking at this palette, it's a really wearable palette as well as a bright palette. There's four shimmers. Yeah, just for the rest are all matte. So that's quite a good mix actually. I don't like it when there's too many shimmers. The ones I'm really drawn to are Cavity and Root Canal. Same with Extraction and Fresh Meat. Those really deep tones there. I just love the names of them. They're so funny. Like, Prick. Great, I'm gonna use prick on my eyes. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna swatch a few of them. I'm really, really, really wanting to swatch. Donor. There's quite a bit of fallout with them, especially the shimmers usually. Oh my god. Oh my god. I literally just went like what? I really want to swatch root canal and cavity, but I just know I'm gonna stain even on my arm. Any palette stains my eyes. As a lot of my friends will know, uh, my eyes stain really, really bad. So I'm probably thinking this is going to do the same. One that's in um, the Blue Blood palette, and it's a shimmer. I can't remember what the name of it is, but like when I use my finger to put it on, it stains my finger pink. Sweetener looks really nice. Oh, it's like a jewel tone. That's really pretty. It looks more golden in the palette. I'm not good at swatching. Like, can you tell? <laughs> Let's just twist my arm the whole way around just so you can see it. Right, I'm going to do one more. That looks really nice as well. Oh, it's stained my finger. I told you, it's all pink. I actually can't escape it. So I don't actually know what kind of look I'm gonna do. Just wanna play with them all. I'm thinking like a half cut crease. The only thing I wish it had, and it's just me being picky. I was gonna say it doesn't fit the color scheme, but then you've got that really like, kind of like, I don't really know what shade that kind of is. Yeah, the only color I wish it had that would make it like, I would say like a palette that's like my go-to yellow. Love yellow. Where have all my brushes gone? Oh, there you are. Mm. Just gonna put on, I always use this as an eyeshadow base. It's the Fit Me by Maybelline concealer. So if I'm gonna do a first impression, I better just using the same base that I always use because then it's fair. I think I'm gonna go in first with extraction. I'm gonna use a small brush like this. I don't know if you can even see. Look at me, I'm a beauty girl now. <laughs> I'm gonna pack it on with this brush in the crease just so that it's small enough to fit. Put it through, oh, oh, that's nice. I'm gonna put that through my crease. I'm just gonna dab it into the crease just so that I can get the most pigment. Mm, that's more purple than I thought it would be actually. Interesting. Yeah, so I just like to go through my crease line and build up that colour. That is really pigmenty. It does go a bit darker when you layer it though, this shade. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep this shape and as you can see when I look straight ahead at the camera you can still see it when my eyes are open so when we do cut the crease you still see the deepest colour of the crease there and the reason I've not taken it all the way round into the inner corner is because I think I'm going to do like a diffused cut crease so I don't want a lot of structure and I definitely don't want the dark colour in there when I'm going to put a lighter colour on then I'm going to go in with this brush which is slightly bigger but still like a, a pointed pencil kind of brush. These are my favourite kind of brushes for packing on colour. I like to do first and then I blend it out. So it'll look a bit wacky to begin with but it'll all come together eventually. So I've just buffed it out a little bit more. So it's a wee bit higher. Then I'm going to take that bigger pencil brush 
and I'm actually going to go in and use... How do people do this? This is hard! I'm going to use cavity. I'm going to use this on the pencil brush, it's slightly bigger, and I'm going to do put it on the skin where there's no eyeshadow, and then also on top of the eyeshadow, so like half and half, so that they blend together, but I still get the colour showing through. Wiggle it like this. I'm just going to follow the edge here, that is really pigmented. Wowee! This is definitely going to be, if anything, the one that stains me. I can feel it! They go nice together, I like that. Wow. I'm going to go back into extraction with the small brush again. Feather this along the edges just to seamlessly blend them. Definitely going to be stained. Okay, that's that blended a bit more. I'm going to go in with Hung Pop this shade here, kind of like a peachy shade, and use that to buff out what we've done here. But again, I'm just using another um, pencil brush. This one's a little bit fluffier though, so it'll help to buff it out. I'm just going to do the same half and half. Oh, that is not the colour I thought it would be, but that's pretty. Mm, that's quite nice. It's really nice, I actually really like that. I can actually see some nice I'm going to go back in with cavity afterwards, just to make sure that it's like popping. I'm really happy with that. Yes. Yes! I've got this Real Techniques brush. I use it for buffing out my edges. But I'm going to put nothing on this and I'm just going to go around the edges and blend them out. You end up with something like this. I'm going to use, it's a Jessup's 223 Petite... Petite Eye Blender? Coma. Just to make the crease even deeper. I'm just going to again start this on. I think I'm just going to deepen the outer corner with this actually. Going with my base again, I'm going to do a diffuse cut. I'm going to go in with, this is such an old brush, like I think I got this. Probably my first makeup present that I ever got. There was like stuff that used, I don't even know if Boots still sells this right. It was like in the gift section in Boots and it was like makeup sets. But like I don't ever remember seeing it as a brand. It was called Front Cover, but like that is what it's from. It was like an eyeshadow set that I got and it was like domed baked eyeshadows and then I had like three brushes in it and that's what this brush is from. But yeah, I'm going to use that. I've got my product on my hand. I'm just going to use what I used as my base and basically I'm just going to tap it on and kind of have it as a cut crease but it's going to be a really soft cut crease so there's not going to be an exact line so I'm just literally going to tap it on. I just like using a big brush because it gets more, it covers more area but I'm basically just patting and pulling it. Yeah, take it higher than the crease, buff it out. Yeah, now we've got it on, I'm going to take this Zoeva brush, it is a 254. But I'm just going to use that and go along the edge and basically buff it into the shadow. Because I don't really want a defined line as such. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, so that's, the sh that's the shape that we're left with. I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used with extraction on it. I'm just going to buff this along where the cut crease is stopping just so there's a little bit more depth. I'm thinking I'm going to use the peaches pigment but I'm going to put it here so I'm going to I think I'm going to go in with that shade that I swatched earlier the sweetener the kind of peachy toned iridescent one and put that in the co inner corner. I'm going to pack that on where I put the concealer and kind of buff it into the shades that are there so there's not a defined line. You know, I'm really shocked that there's been no fallout on my face. I'm really heavy handed when it comes to makeup, like really heavy handed. So for there not to be any fallout, I am shook. <laughs> on its side, just buff it, pack it on just the full way up to the top of the cut crease. And then I'm going to use the small brush that I used with Coma to blend them together too. I'm going to use the NYX glitter primer and then the Mademoiselle by Peaches and Cream pigment. And I'm going to put that, I think, here. I'm just going to take a Peaches PC20 flat brush. I'm going to put the glue on. It's just lightly tapping that on. Oh, that is nice. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Super pigmented, wow. I don't know if you can see the sheen on the camera. Oh, there's that brush I was looking for. I'm going to use the brush I was looking for, which is the Jessup's 230. I'm going to use Candy Floss as my brow bone highlight. Oh no, that's nice. Oh, I like that. And I'm going to put it in the corner as well. I wish that was a little bit brighter. I'm not going to lie. Underneath the eye, I'm just going to do the exact same shades as I did on the top. So I'm going to go in with Extraction first, as I did before. Same brush. 
run it back and forward. I like to take my shadow quite low. Some other people might not like to do that. You're actually recreating this, which I hope someone might. <laughs> you might want to do this step like a little bit smaller. Then I'm gonna go in with cavity again on the same brush. The shadow's on this side. I like to tip it up like this so that I'm not blending all of it too far down because then I end up with the shadow really, really far down, further down, sorry, than what I want it to be. Make sure you connect the shades at the side as well. Then I'm gonna go in with Tongue Pop again on, again, the same brush that I had before, just to diffuse all the edges out. I'm gonna use that same Real Techniques brush just to buff all the edges out. Again, no product on it. There we go. So that is all the eyeshadow done. So I'm gonna come off camera do this other eye because we'll be here forever and then I'll come back and I'll talk about what I'm doing as the final touches. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. I've done both eyes. I just popped on the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. I'm just gonna pop on lashes. I've also got an urge to put a blue in my waterline. I'm gonna use the NYX Azure slide on eye pencil. I don't know if they still make this shade. I should know that, I worked with them, but I can't remember. Been that long since I've been at work. Don't know about you, but I think that's nice. I'm gonna put on the Doll Beauty Chloe lashes. Okay, they're glued and now we wait. I thought I'd keep it in theme. I thought I'd use a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick, so I've got celebrity skin. I'm gonna use Peaches and Cream Punch Line Lip Liner. This might be too dark, but we'll see. Too long. Nope, right, okay. See, that's nice. I like that. There we go. So, everyone, this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that it was simple enough for you to recreate this look at home as well. If anyone does recreate this at home, I would love to see your version of it. So, you can always tag me on Instagram at Emma Kirk MUA. Um, link is always in the bio, but I would love to see any recreations that anyone has. My final thoughts on the Blood Sugar palette is that overall, I really like this palette. It's super pigmented. There wasn't very much fallout. Also, I just think you could do like a lot of like looks with this. like. Because you've got your more neutral tones at the top, you could totally do like a proper wearable look with this one as well. Like a bronzy look, you can do like a smoky cranberry kind of look, you can do a bright look like this look. You could just do like a lot with it. So I do really like it and also I really like the names of the shadows so that um, that always makes palettes a little bit more interesting for me. And the natural palette itself is just such a nice packaged palette. So I would probably give this like an 9 out of 10. Not a 10 out of 10 because there's not a, a yellow in it and I love yellow but if there was a yellow in it it would be my complete perfect palette. It's really really nice. I do recommend it if anyone wants one. I always use my Carnival palette but I think for like ready tones and things this one's going to be my new go-to so thank you Daniel for buying me it. Really appreciate it. Love you. <laughs> but yeah it's really lovely. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a massive thumbs up for me um, because that really means a lot. I do have the Smoke Sessions palette from Melt that I got for my birthday which I haven't touched yet so if you would like a video on that let me know in the comments. Please subscribe. It means a lot and yeah have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Bye!